Hi guys, Techman here with another quick update. I'm currently working on a review of the Power Traveler Power Gorilla. It's not an in-depth review, just took my experience with the product and the manufacturer and how well it's worked over the past decade. So stay tuned, that will be out soon. Now on the back of my recent video with regards to the Leo 2048 Watt Hour Portable Power Station, we discussed that there were shipping delays for those backers who are from the EU and the rest of the world, the non-US and Canada backers. Now on the back of that video, Leo did provide an update on the Indiegogo page. I also mentioned that Leo Battery UK had provided me with an email address of someone that works at Leo. I did send out an email to this individual, but hey ho, to this day I have not received a response. No surprises there. Also in one of my previous videos I had mentioned that I had emailed a number of manufacturers with regards to their products and asked a couple of questions. Now I had only received a response from Zero Breeze and again the response was to email another mailbox, which I did and I'm yet to hear a response from them. But in the meantime I have now also received an email from EcoFlow and they've asked me some questions and I've responded to those questions and again there's been no response from EcoFlow. This again goes back to my point which I've made a number of times and in fact one of the purposes of this channel is to try to get these manufacturers to provide good customer service and to respond to our emails. And this small experiment which I have conducted is again evidence that these manufacturers need to step up their game. Now coming back to Leoc again, they've recently pushed out an update on their Indiegogo page. Now this could have been in response to my recent video or it could be just a timely update. Now in this update they say they are deeply sorry for letting everybody down and they are also sorry for the delay in getting the power station out to backers. What they fail to highlight in this update is why there's been a delay. I mean come on, people have been asking this question over and over again, what's going on? And I just can't understand why Leon can't be honest and transparent. Tell us what's going on, you are a multi-million pound corporation, you know how to deal with these things, you know how to get these products marketed, and shipped out around the world. So just be honest. Now coming back to the update itself, they are assuring everybody of two things. Number one, that the units will arrive and number two, that any unit which is faulty will be refunded or replaced. What I'd like to bring to your attention, in fact don't need to bring it, it's already there in front of you, is the language that Leoc has used in this update. There's absolutely no reason for this vulgarity. For a multi-million pound corporation who boasts that they're on the Hong Kong stock market, to use such vulgar language in an update is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm quite surprised that Indiegogo has not filtered this word out. In fact, Leoc not only used this word down here, but scrolling further down, they've also mentioned that word again here. This is unbelievable. It's absolutely preposterous. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Either Leoc does not know what this word means, or that they think this is a synonym for another word. So on one side you've got backers who are angry and furious and frustrated with the delays and in response to that Leoc uses such vulgar language. It's almost laughable. It really does question the professionalism and it does not improve my confidence in Leoc at all. So Leoc, be transparent, be honest, improve your communication with your backers and step up. Now quickly moving on, my dear friend, my... Ooh, nearly said his name there, didn't I? My dear friend M has backed the All Pass Monster X portable power station. Now that campaign has been plagued with delays and people all around the world are still waiting for their units one year on. And I sincerely hope all backers receive their units as soon as possible. And I hope all these units are in good working order. Now I'm glad to say M has received his unit and judging from the pictures he sent me, the Monster X does look amazing. Now one thing I was quite curious about is that the Monster X is supposed to be made from aluminium alloy and judging from the pictures on the internet of the prototype and earlier models, it does certainly seem like it is made from aluminium alloy. However, from the pictures that I saw from him, I personally think it's actually made from some sort of durable plastic, but we'll take a look at that in more details when he brings it down to me. The internal box was intact, however the unit itself did arrive with some cracks and as you can see in the images, these cracks are mainly around the handles. I think there's been a lot of stress in either fixing the handles or that this damage was caused during shipping. Coincidentally, other backers have also mentioned receiving units with cracks around the handles and that's something that all parts will need to address. But when I get the unit and I'll charge it up, I'll put it through its places and we'll review it on this channel. Now finally, I'd like to add that Leoc has finally responded to my email. 
and I asked for details as to why there has been delays in getting the unit shipped out to those backers who are not from the USA or Canada. And in the email, they have mentioned that they are doing some more tests. Now that's fine. You know, you want to test your units more because of faulty units that have been shipped out. That's fine. But to promise the units to be shipped out in May 15th and then June the 10th and then not to hit that target and above all, keep it secret, does not pay in my book. Why were backers not informed of this earlier? I'm just trying to figure out why you would do this, why anyone would do this. Now at the bottom of the email, it says detailed shipping schedule will be posted by the end of this week. Now to keep things in perspective, this part of the audio is being recorded on Saturday the 3rd of July. This update should be up by Sunday the 4th of July. Let's see if Leo keep up to their promise, or will they let us down again? Further on it says the shipment to non-American region is expected to start on 10th of July, which is a week from now. Please check your email for more details. So I'll be looking out for my emails and I hope there'll be updates on the Indiegogo campaign page. Right guys, it's time for me to sign out. You had to, didn't you? Oh, come on. I really can't keep up with these things. Well guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care, look after yourselves and your families, and I'll see you in the next one.